Okay, guys, we're starting a new book. What is the Constitution? Check it out. At the bottom, it says, We the People. It's written by Patricia Brennan DeMuth. What is the Constitution? Illustrated by Tim Foley. So illustrated means that is who drew the pictures. So this is a war for our country, the United States of America, that was the colonies, and Great Britain over in Europe, England. Okay, let's see what it has to say. What is the Constitution? The first time the 13 American colonies declared themselves a free nation was in the Declaration of Independence, written in July of 1776. By then, the colonies were fed up with being ruled, by, ruled from afar by Great Britain. A bloody war for independence broke out. The Revolutionary War. At the start, winning the war seemed impossible. How could the ragtag rebel army ever defeat Great Britain, the mightiest military power in the world? But a fierce drive to be free fired from the rebel spirits. By 1783, the war was over and the colonies were no longer colonies. They were states in the free and independent nation, the United States of America. Even while at war, the new country had needed some sort of government. So in 1776, a group of leaders of the revolution had quickly patched together some rules. They were called the Articles of Confederation. Nobody wanted a government that was all powerful. That's what the states were breaking away from. So they created a Congress that was too weak to do any harm. Unfortunately, the result was a government that was too weak to do much good either. By 1787, just four years after the United States' glorious victory, the young country was in trouble. National pride didn't exist yet. In fact, if you ask most people what their country was, they'd name their state. It was easy to see why. Over, the, over their whole lifetime, people rarely traveled more than 30 miles away from where they were born. In 1785, a man from Georgia wrote that he was leaving his country to go to a strange land among strangers. The strange land was New York. States quarreled often over where their state boundary lines were and which state owned certain rivers. Enemies abroad smirked at America's troubles. Didn't all this arguing prove that the upstart nation was not capable of ruling, ruling itself without a powerful king? America's young government needed fixing, and soon, so during the horribly hot and sticky summer of 1787, 50 men from 12 states gathered in Philadelphia for a special meeting. Rhode Island wouldn't come. Their mission was to change the Articles of Confederation. Most had no idea they were going to, fr they were going to frame to plan out a whole new system of government. The framers, which is what history books call these men, had to find answers to a big thorny question. Who decided if the United States would go to war again? What power should be given to the head of the government? What should happen? If leaders abused their powers, who should be allowed to vote? How should laws get passed? For four months, the framers debated and debated and debated. Tempers flared. Voices rose. Every man cared deeply about his ideas. It was hard to work to listen to the other side. It was hard work to listen to the other side. So much was at stake. They knew they were trying to decide the fate for millions yet unborn. 
As Delegated George Mason said, at some points, writing a new constitution seemed hopeless. Would an agreement ever be reached? Chapter one is next. We'll have to find out. So we learned that the Declaration of Independence was written in under a month just a little over a couple weeks. That's amazing. By some a group of people who really wanted to make sure that people understood why we were independent and had liberty. We didn't need a king, but we do need rules, and that's why we got the Constitution. We needed to work together. So what we learned so far is Great Britain across the ocean they gave us money and some tools, and like, there's a king over there, to create and find new land. And we found the United States of America. It wasn't the USA then. And then we formed the 13 colonies. And we decided we don't need Britain. We don't need a king. We're going to figure it out. And we became independent. 1776, we are a free nation. Declaration of Independence, July 4th, after the Revolutionary War. Their Great Britain, they had more power, but we wanted it more. We were strong. We had grit. We kept on and kept on, and we won. And then in 1783, we stopped being colonies, and we started being states because we knew we needed to work together. We were independent from Great Britain. We no longer had the king as our ruler. We decided, huh, we need to learn some things to get some things straight. We need an outline of some rules. So some guys got together, and we had the Art Articles of Confederation, 12 rules. They're important, but we needed more. So in 1787, there was trouble. They were arguing. They didn't work together. So 50 men from 12 states. How many colonies did we have that turned into states? 13. Not all of them came. Rhode Island sent pass. So the other 12, they got together. They met in Philadelphia. They met there, and they decided... We have to find a whole new government. We need to make some rules so we can live safely and work together and be great and powerful together. So a whole new government was organized. Four months they debated. They argued and argued and argued and argued and argued because they had to make sure for millions that had not been born yet for us. Way, way, way back then, they were thinking of us, and they were thinking about our kids and our grand and your kids when you grow up. And so they thought, they fought, and they wrote, and they rewrote, and they rewrote. We're going to learn more about the Constitution and why it's so important and what's in it.